hi, Dominica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hem pants by hand. Now, for any stage you want to jump to a different part of the tutorial, then just check the description box down below and I'll have some links to the different steps there for you. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first off, you'll need to grab the pants that you want to hem and you'll need to unpick the current hem that's already there. So grab your quick unpick and you'll just need to go through and unpick all those stitches on both legs. Okay, so for this step you'll need to work out where you want your pant leg to go down to. So if the pants are quite long, it might be best to fold them up on the outside like that and get the person to wear the shoes that they'd normally be wearing uh, with the pants. Okay, and once you've got the right length, just pop a pin in just so you can remember where you want the pant line to go down to. Okay, so you need to do that on both sides and then when you're happy with that we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so here's the pin that I placed um, on the pant leg in the last step to show how long we want the pant leg to be. Now before I said you could do this on both legs, really only need to have, you need to do it with one and then you can transfer the measurements over to the other leg. Okay, so we've got the pin in there so we know where we want the peg pant leg to finish so I'm just going to measure how wide that part is that we've folded up and it, to me it's just over four inches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and just make sure that the the cuff here is turned up the same distance all the way around and I'll just place a couple more pins in to hold it in place. So if you've got one of these little rulers then they can be quite handy but if you just have a normal standard ruler then that would be fine as well. And this just makes sure it's even all the way around. So about four should be fine. Okay, so for my new hem, I'm going to need about two inches because I'm going to fold over the hem to hide the raw, inch, raw, raw edges. So uh, I've just got a pen to mark where that two inches is going to be. And I'm just going to place some lines around the pant leg. Okay, so once I've done that, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to trim off this excess fabric here because I won't need that anymore. So I'm just going to go and grab um, a pair of my scissors and chop off that excess fabric. Okay, so I'm going to repeat those steps on the other leg now and then we'll be ready to move on to the next bit. Okay, so I've trimmed off the excess fabric on both pant legs. Now I'm going to actually remove the pins and turn the pants inside out and then we're going to do some ironing. Okay, so I've got the pant legs um, inside out. So now I'm going to fold them back up um, at the two inch mark. So just like we did before, I'm gonna fold it up, make sure it's 
two inches. Back down a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to give that a press with the iron. And I'm going to do that all the way around for both of the pan legs. Okay, once you've ironed the two inches, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this under so we can hide away this raw edge because you can see already that it's starting to fray like crazy. And I'm going to roll it under so it's maybe, maybe leaves about um, an inch and a quarter of a hem there. Okay, so about like that. So I'm going to do that all the way around and iron it down as I go. Okay, so we're finished ironing the hem and I've got the raw edge tucked away there and I'm just going to place a couple of pins on the hem just to stop it from coming unfolded while I'm stitching. Okay, I'm going to start at one of the um, side leg seams and I have my needle threaded here and I'm just going to be using a single thread. Okay, and then that way you'll have less chance of the thread showing through on the other side of your pant leg. Alright, I'm going to tie a knot in the end of my thread. So I'm just going to grab one of the tails, however you find best to tie a knot. Although I do have a good video on how to tie a knot in thread. If you're interested in that, I'll pop a link in the description box down below for you. Okay, so I've knotted the end of my thread there. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to secure the thread in the seam here. So I just brought it through the side leg seam layer and through to the front there. And I'm just going to do another stitch out in the same place. And this time when it gets down to a loop, like so, I'm going to my needle through, oops, caught on my pin. There we go, and that should be nice and secure there. Okay, so I'm left-handed, so I'm going to be working from left to right. If you're right-handed, then you'll probably be working from right to left. Okay, so what I like to do to start off with, okay, I've got the securing stitch done there. I'm going to have my needle at an angle. I'm going to put my needle through these two layers that I ironed over before. And then in the last layer, I'm just going to try and grab just one or two threads from that fabric there. Okay, so you can see the kind of angle that I'm going on and I'm probably just about an eighth of an inch down from the top of the um, hemline there. Okay, so I'm going to bring that all the way through. Try not to get caught on my pin this time. Okay, and I'm just going to repeat that again. Okay, so you might like to do smaller stitches or you might like to have a bigger gap, probably about oh, a quarter of an inch away from where um, your needle went through at the back there. So I'm going to put it through the front two layers. Okay, and then directly behind that I'm going to try and catch one thread, one or two threads from the layer in the back there. Okay, 
circle all the way through and I'm going to keep on repeating that. Okay, so now you can see I've done a few stitches going across the hemline at the top there. So theoretically, when you turn your pant leg inside out, you should hardly see your thread coming through from the back at all. I can see a little bit of red here, so that's telling me I probably picked up um, a few too many threads there when I was catching that back fabric a little bit. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to keep on going uh, until I've gone all the way around the pant leg and then I'm going to do another securing stitch and then I'm done. Okay, so I've finished stitching all the way around. So what I'm going to do, just like I did at the beginning, I'm going to take my thread through the two layers of fabric in the hem and then when the thread gets down to a loop I'm just going to pass the needle through that loop and then pull it tight and I might just do that one more time okay and then to hide that loop away I'm just going to pass the needle down in between one of the gaps there and Bring it out through the hem somewhere and just by pulling that tight just going to snip that thread and go your little tail will be hidden away there okay so there you have it so when you go to turn your pants right side out you will have a nice hem where you won't be able to see the stitching at all so in mine you might be able to see little specks of red here and there with my thread that I use. But if you use a matching thread then you'll hardly be able to notice it at all. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, if you have, give me a thumbs up, leave comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks for watching.